Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at how you can create stencils using Myla material. Now Myla is great for many reasons. First of all, it's rigid, so it makes a great stencil. And second of all, it is reusable depending on the products that you're going to be putting on it. So it makes a great use as a stencil. That's kind of Myla's purpose, is a stencil. I absolutely love working with it. Now, I use lots of different materials for stenciling. I use vinyl, I use freezer paper, I also use card and paper, and I've been known to use tracing paper like material as well. But in terms of being reusable, Myla is by far the best. Now, one of the things that you have to be aware of when creating a stencil is that anything that you're not going to transfer, so anything other than vinyl, when you cut it out, you are going to lose your middle pieces, which is fine for a one-off use such as freezer paper, but with Myla you want to be able to reuse it. So whilst you can just cut it out and manually place those middle pieces, it's worth taking the time to actually make sure that these are still attached to your stencil and it's really easy to do. You just have to take your time and sometimes you need to have a play about. So you can see I've got my text here. I've used the font Agency FB but I use all sorts of fonts when doing this. I use lots and lots of different fonts. So you can see I've done it here with this one, but I just wanted to show you that it can be done with all different types of fonts. And I've also got myself some rectangle shapes and I've just reduced them right down to little sticks. So I've kept my width at 0.029 and again you will need to play with this depending on the size of your stencil. You don't want your gap too big but you don't want it too small either so that if you reduce your text or your image down you're then not going to decrease that gap so it is a kind of playing with it you do need to play with it the best way I find to do it is to actually size up your text first and then just zoom in you can see I'm at 250 percent here zoomed in Whilst I'm going to keep my width the same, I always change the length on them depending on my letters. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one of my rectangles over. I just want to make sure that my text is moved to the back and you can see I've changed the colour so it's a lighter colour as well. I'm then just going to bring one of my rectangles over and I'm going to place it so that it overlaps where my letter joins. Once I'm happy I'm going to highlight and I'm going to slice. Once I've sliced I can then come in and delete my excess and I'm then left with this gap here and this will actually keep my middle in. Now I normally only do it on one kind of edge because I like to do it with lots of curved text and you normally only have the one kind of join edge but with this one I'm going to do it on all of them so I'm going to come in I'm going to duplicate this several times and I'm then just going to start placing it where I want them to be and I'm not going to do anything other than come in and place them all so once I've placed the rest of my slice areas I'm just going to come in and I'm going to hide my text I'm then going to highlight my rectangles and I'm going to weld them. I'm then going to bring back my text, I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to slice. Of course you can only slice one thing at a time which is why I place several at once and I then weld them so they become one. I'm then able to slice them all in one go. And you can see we've then got our cut out pieces. So when we actually cut our stencil out, it's going to keep those middle pieces. And it just makes life a lot easier. Yes, it does take time. Yes, it takes some patience. Yes, you may need to play with the shape slightly, but you will get the hang of it, I absolutely promise you. 
So you can see I've got my pre-done text here. This is actually watermelon script. You can see I've come in and I've sliced away all my pieces so that I can then keep my middle areas. I've then got a rectangle here which is roughly the size of an A4 sheet. And I'm just going to come in, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to align, and I'm going to center. I'm then going to highlight again and I'm going to slice. Now I've made this rectangle A4 because I want my stencil to roughly be A4 because I'm just going to stick it on an A4 piece of paper just to show you what you can do. I'm then going to slice out my text for the simple reason that because I'm using sprays or I may be using paste or whatever I'm going to use, inks, it's really handy to have this buffer area all the way around. And that's really what a stencil is. It allows you to come in, add different products on here and you don't have to worry about it going everywhere. So it's worth slicing it into a shape. That is kind of how a stencil works. So once I'm happy with everything, I can then go to make it. You can see it's on our mat here, so we can go to continue. So as I say, I am using Myla today. Now there is no dedicated Myla setting, so you are going to have to make your own custom setting. Now if you're using an air machine, you just turn your dial round to a custom setting and then you can follow the steps from this point on. So we're going to go to browse all materials, we're going to go down to material settings, we're going to scroll all the way down and add new material. So I'm going to name it Myla A4 and press save. So you can see here we've got a few options. So the first thing I want to change is from a fine point to a deep point blade. I'm using the deep point blade because there's lots of kind of swirls um, and we've got small cuts and the deep cut blade, it won't cut any deeper than you tell it to cut, but it does have a greater rotation angle. So I use it a lot. It's probably my most used blade. I then want to turn my multi cut to two times and I'm going to bring my slider up to a pressure of 300. So this is what I've just got from my test cuts. I am actually using 125 micron miler today. Uh, it's from a company called CF Supplies Stencil Store and I do actually have a 10% code off for these so I will link to everything in the description below. But as I say, from my test cuts, this is the setting that kind of works the best. So we're then going to save. I can then close this down and you can see it's just going to reboot my materials. I'm going to go back into browse all materials. I'm going to come down to my materials and you can see Myla A4 there so we're just going to click on that and press done. So you can see I've got a purple mat here. Now I do recommend using a purple mat and you want it to be as sticky as it can be. You really want to make sure that this Myla is stuck well to this mat. So we're just going to come in and place our Myla down and we're then going to go in with our fabric brayer and we want to make sure, as I say, that this is really, really stuck down. Once that's done, we can then go and let the machine do its job. So my stencil's all cut out and I actually like to remove it while it's on the mat. So I'm just going to come in with my weeding tool and I'm just going to weed out the excess first. So all the way around. Then I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to remove my letters. I just find this is the easiest way to do it when you're working with Myla. So just come in and remove the bits you don't want. We can then come in with our spatula and we're just going to start 
removing our mylar stencil. Now you do want to be careful, uh, so just take your time with this. And you can see we've then got our reusable Mylar stencil. Obviously it's reusable depending on the product you're going to be putting on it, but generally it's reusable, which is fantastic. And of course we've got all our middle pieces still intact. So I've got some card, this is just normal kind of 250-ish uh, GSM card stock and I want to attach my stencil to my card. So I'm going to use this which is Crafters Companion Stick and Spray. This stuff is fantastic, it is brilliant for temporarily adhering stencils to different materials, it works on so many different materials. This is a temporary spray adhesive, it's absolutely fantastic, it really is. What I really like about it is actually repositional, so if you're not happy with the position of your stencil, you just bring it back up and put it back down, it's great stuff. So we're actually going to turn our stencil over. We're going to come in with our spray and we want to spray from about 30 centimetres away and we're just going to cover the back of our stencil with our stick and spray. And then we want to leave that to dry for about 30 seconds just to allow it to get its tack going. We're then going to come in and just place our stencil down. If we're not happy, we're just going to bring it straight back up. And I like to come in, just individually place each bit. You can see that we've got a little bit tangled there. So we're then going to place that back down. And that's the great thing that I really like about it, is that you can reposition it. Once it's where I want it, I'm going to come in with my fabric brayer and I'm just going to make sure that it is nice and adhered to my card. So to use with my stencil today, I am using the Nouveau Embellishment Mousses. I absolutely love these. All you need is the mousse and a palette knife. So we're just going to come into the gold one and get a little bit of mousse and we're literally just going to come in and scrape it over. And the great thing about using a palette knife is that you can pick up the excess. So you've got very, very little wastage, which is something that I love. You can then just scrape it back into the pot. So I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to do a sort of ombre, I think. I then like to leave that just for about five minutes or so. We're then going to come in and just gently start peeling up our stencil. And this can of course be washed and restuck, that's absolutely fine to do that. And it's just a nice, fun project to be able to do. The whole point of this was to show you how to create the Mylar stencils. And we're going to be doing some more work with them later in the week. And I love working with Mylar stencils. Mm -hmm. 